Sisters and brothers, many of us will remember that in the month of March of 2022, 18th to 19th of March to be precise, a very special event took place in the life of the church in Goa. We had, for the very first time in our memory, what was called a pre-synodal assembly of our local church as a member of the universal church. Why pre-synodal? Because, as we know well, our dear Pope Francis has placed the whole church on what we all know now as the synodal journey, as he wishes that the whole church at all levels should take part in the preparation for the all-important 16th Ordinary General Assembly of the Synod of Bishops to begin in the coming month of October. 515 delegates from our parishes and institutions had come together to take stock of what had emerged during the various consultations that had taken place earlier in our archdiocese at different levels. The twofold purpose of this pre-synodal meeting had been, one, to gather the fruits of our various consultations before we could consolidate them into a diocesan synthesis and send them onward to the regional and national levels so that a national synthesis of our synodal journey could then be submitted to the Holy See. And two, to see how the fruits of these consultations reflect our local church life so that they can be suitably implemented at the level of our archdiocese. Keeping this in mind, we had chosen an appropriate theme for our last pastoral year of 2022-2023. The theme was, Follow Me. During the whole of the pastoral year that went by, we reflected on how Jesus had called his first disciples and how he is calling us, his disciples of today, to encounter him and to grow in intimacy with him, with the Father and with the Holy Spirit. Rooted in this Trinitarian communion, all of us, disciples of Jesus and members of his church, are called to build communion within the church, at the family, the small Christian community and the parish levels communion with Christians of other denominations, communion with followers of other religious traditions, and finally communion with our Mother Earth, our common home. This communion must lead us to live a life of active participation at various levels as living members of the body of Christ. As St. Paul tells us, in his letter to the Romans, just as we have many members in one body and all the members do not have the same function, so we who are many are one body in Christ. Letter to the Romans, chapter 12, verses 4 to 5. Finally, this communion must be at the service of the mission that Jesus has entrusted to us that is, to proclaim the good news of life, love, peace and justice which Jesus, the Prince of Peace, brought into this world and to witness to Jesus and to his values, thus becoming the salt of the earth, the light of the world and the transforming leaven of the society in which we live. The theme of the last pastoral year was chosen in view of implementing the fruits of our synodal consultation. 
in continuation with that theme and also in view of the celebration of the 16th General Assembly of the Synod as well as in preparation for the forthcoming solemn exposition of the relics of St. Francis Xavier, we chose the following theme for the current pastoral year of 2023-2024. You also should do as I have done to you. Gospel of John, chapter 13, verses 14. If we are to follow the Lord, we must do to others as he has done to us. In chapter 13 of his Gospel, St. John writes about how Jesus, knowing that his hour had come to depart out of this world to his Father, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. And how did he show this love? By washing the feet of his disciples. Let us remember that during the time of Jesus, only slaves washed the feet of their masters. And here we have Jesus, who after washing the feet of his disciples, tells them in no unclear terms, If I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash each other's feet. For I have given you an example that you also should do just as I have done to you. Gospel of St. John, chapter 13, verses 14 to 15. Through this action and teaching, Jesus made it very clear that he wanted his disciples to build communion, to promote participation, and to carry out his mission by walking the path of humble, selfless, and caring service to everyone, particularly to the last, the least, and the lost. We are all looking forward eagerly to the solemn exposition of the relics of St. Francis Xavier, which will take place from the 21st of November 2024 to the 5th of January 2025. The genuine fruitfulness of the exposition will depend very much on the seriousness of our spiritual preparation for this great faith event during the 16 months that we have before us. I therefore extend my fervent and earnest appeal to all the members of the Church in our Archdiocese, our priests, our religious men and women, and our lay faithful. Let us prepare ourselves spiritually for this great event of the Exposition by renewing and deepening our relationship with Jesus, our Lord and Master, and by witnessing to that relationship by walking the path of service in our day-to-day -day life, drawing inspiration from the outstanding example of our Goinzo Saib, and thereby contributing to build a truly synodal church that lives in communion, grows in participation, and continues the evangelizing mission of Jesus in this world.